Hi everyone, this is Mr. Cervone. Welcome to my math channel. In today's geometry lesson, we will be learning about perpendicular lines and angles. So let's get started with the do now. Ray BD bisects angle ABC as shown in the diagram here. If the measure of angle ABD is 7x plus 6 and the measure of angle DBC is 5x plus 30, then what are the measures of angle ABD and angle DBC? So how do we solve this? Well, if you look at ray BD, we know that that is an angle bisector. And by definition, an angle bisector bisects an angle into two congruent angles, namely angle ABD and DBC. So the first thing we can write here when we want to show our work in the geometric axiomatic system is that angle ABD is congruent to angle DBC by the definition of angle bisector. The next thing is to mention that these two angles are therefore equal in measure, and that is by the definition of congruent angles. Then we substitute with 7x plus 6 equal to 5x plus 30, and here again we use the substitution postulate, and then finally we solve for the value of x. And here we obtain an x value of 12, obviously after using the subtraction and the multiplication or division postulate. So how do we find the measure of angle ABD or the measure of angle DBC, which is in this case, they're equal? Well, we can just take one of the values here, either 7x plus 6 or 5x plus 30 and substitute with x equal to 12. And in either case, we obtain 90 degrees. So what this means is that this diagram is really not drawn to scale. And by the way, we can never assume any diagrams drawn to scale in geometry. We should probably now redraw the diagram that represents the real scenario here in which angle ABD and DBC, their measures are 90 degrees. So in reality, the diagram looks like this, okay? So what do you notice here? So if you look at the diagram, now we can look at ray BD, and now the function of ray BD is that it is now a perpendicular line. It's still an angle bisector, but it's also perpendicular to line AC. Okay, so here we have a perpendicular. So this brings us to the definition of the perpendicular lines first. How would we define perpendicular lines? Keep in mind that a true definition is a biconditional statement. We also know here that you have 90 degree angles, basically that we have right angles here. So the definition has to include that you have right angles. So the definition is as follows. Two lines are perpendicular if and only if they intersect to form right angles, okay? So it's very important to state that they intersect because you can have also lines that do not intersect. Like this, in this particular case, they intersect and form right angles. So what happens here is that we have a biconditional, which means that the conditional statement is true and it's converse. So let's state them really quick. So the conditional statement is if two lines intersect and are perpendicular, then the two lines form right angles. It's converse is if two lines intersect to form right angles, then the two lines are perpendicular. So it turns out that in a statement reason table, you can actually use one of these theorems, okay? Either the conditional statement or its converse. You can also use the definition instead. So what I would like to show you here is that there is actually a connection between theorems and definitions. So let's try to prove these. Let's say you want to prove the first conditional statement, if P then Q. If two lines intersect and are perpendicular, then the two lines form right angles. So every time you have a conditional statement, you always have to think about, okay, what are the givens and what are we trying to prove? So in general, you're always given the hypothesis P, which is always true. That's your true premise. You want to prove that the conclusion is true as well, such that the conditional statement is true. So in this particular case, what is the hypothesis? So the hypothesis or the given is that two lines intersect and are perpendicular, and we want to prove that the two lines form right angles. Then you make a diagram and convert the statements into 
letters using the geometric figures. So instead of writing two lines intersect in a perpendicular, you can also write that line AC is perpendicular to ray BD. Notice that the sign here, like an upside down T, is the symbol in geometry for a perpendicular object. Then we want to prove that the two lines form right angles, which in this case would be that angle ABD and angle DBC are right angles. So that's generally the approach when we want to prove a theorem, okay? There are conditional statement, the given is the hypothesis, and whatever you want to prove is the conclusion. You want to convert those into geometric figures using letters and geometric symbols. So the proof is actually very short for the conditional statement because all you need to do is use the definition perpendicular lines. So the proof is simply a two-step proof, okay? So you can say that angle ABD and angle DBC are right angles by the definition of perpendicular lines. Notice that here, we're not trying to prove the definition, okay? Which is an if and only if statement. We're just trying to prove each component individually to use them as theoreming proofs, okay? So let's say that you don't want to use the definition, but you want to use the theorem, then you can just state that if two lines intersect and are perpendicular, then the two lines form right angles. So that brings us to the second part of the proof, which is the converse. If Q then P, which is if two lines intersect to form right angles, then the two lines are perpendicular. So how do we prove that one? So again, in this case, we want to think about what is the given, which is usually the hypothesis, and what do we want to prove? So the given here is two lines intersect to form right angles, and we want to prove the two lines are perpendicular. Then we refer back to the diagram and say, okay, two lines intersect to form right angles, which two lines are these? And which are the right angles? But also keep in mind that here we're saying if two lines, right? But in this particular case, uh, in our drawing here, we have a line and a ray, okay? But this also applies for if you have actually two lines. So basically we're given that angle ABD and angle DBC are right angles. How do we prove that line AC is perpendicular to ray BD? So again, let's construct the statement reason table and use the first given, that angle ABD and angle DBC are right angles. So what can we conclude about the fact that angle ABD and angle DBC are right angles? Well, we know that they're also congruent. And what's the reason? Why are these two angles congruent? Well, what do we know about all right angles? We know that they all must be congruent. Therefore, we write a famous postulate that states that all right angles are congruent. Next, we want to state that angle ABD and angle DBC are supplementary angles. And the reason is that if the exterior sides of two adjacent angles are opposite rays, then the angles are supplementary. Notice that the adjacent angles that we have are these two here. These are the adjacent angles. Then we also know that the measure of angle ABD plus the measure of angle DBC is equal to 180. That's the definition of supplementary angles. And maybe at this point, you can already see what I'm getting to here. If you look at step number two, we have that measure of angle ABD is congruent to measure of angle DBC, right? Well, it is also true that they're actually equal in measure. And we know that's true by the definition of congruent angles. What can we do here at this point? Well, we can simply substitute and state that the measure of angle ABD plus measure of angle ABD is equal to 180, or that two times measure of angle ABD is equal to 180. So then we can simply divide here and state that the measure of angle ABD is 90 degrees. So what does that mean? Well, do we need to prove that measure of angle DBC is also 90? The reality, no, because if you have two lines that are intersecting here like this, okay, and you prove that one of them is a right angle, then you know that the two lines must be perpendicular. So here we can say that angle ABD is a right angle. And the reason is the definition of right angles. Notice that the definition states that an angle is a right angle if and only if the angle measures 90 degrees. 
So therefore we can say that line AC is perpendicular to ray BD by the definition of perpendicular line. Remember that the definition states that two lines are perpendicular if and only if they intersect to form right angles, okay? So keep in mind that the perpendicular line definition can be used interchangeably. Also, if you have perpendicular lines, but you want to prove that they're right angles, you just use the definition of perpendicular lines. So if we go back here now, uh, we have proven two different things here, okay? So first, we prove the conditional statement, okay? And we proved its converse. It turns out that these two are theorems. However, if you make a biconditional out of these two theorems, it now becomes a definition. So this is up to you now. In a statement reason table, you can either use uh, each of these components of the definitions that are theorems, or you can just write definition of perpendicular lines. The choice is yours. Okay, so that's basically it for today's lesson. Have a wonderful day.